In this lecture, I will solve two combinational circuits problem appeared in GATE 1994 exam. In the first problem, a Boolean function f is given as sum of products. These are the min terms m3, m4, m5 and m6 are the min terms given in the problem with a, b and c as inputs. There are three inputs a, b and c. The function f can be expressed on the Carnot's map shown below. This is the given Carnot map and I will use this Carnot map to solve A and B parts of the problem. In A part, we need to implement the function using 8 is to 1 mux and in B part, we have to find out minimized SOP expression for F square. First, we will find out F and by using F, we can easily find out F square. Let's solve A part of the problem. I will quickly draw 8 is to 1 mux solution A. I will quickly draw 8 is to 1 mux and we already know in case of 8 is to 1 mux there are 8 inputs and 3 selector variables. Selector variables are also called as select lines. We have inputs from I0 to I7. The first 4 inputs are I0, I1, I2 and I3. The next 4 inputs are I4, I5, I6 and I7, I4, I5, I6 and I7. In case of multiplexers, there is only one output and the output is equal to F. The three selector variables, the three selector variables are S2, S1 and S0. I will use Carnot map given in the problem to implement the function using this 8 cross 1 mux. Whenever you have to implement the function using the Carnot map, you also require the truth table for the multiplexer you are using. In this case, we are using 8 cross 1 mux. So we need the truth table of 8 cross 1 mux. I will quickly make the truth table for 8 cross 1 mux. S2, S1, and S0 are the three inputs, the three selector variables. We have eight possible combinations 0, 0, 001, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and the last combination is 1, 1, 1. The output is F, and when the three selector variables are equal to 0, input I0 is linked to the output f so f is equal to i0 in the same way when s2 s1 are 0 but s0 is equal to 1 i1 is linked to the output so we have i1 for this case in the same way we have i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 i will copy the Carnot map given in the problem and i will place it next to the truth table that we have made copy and paste after this we can easily analyze the truth table and Carnot map to implement the function using the 8 cross 1 marks the empty cells are having 0 the empty cells are having 0 C0 for the first row and C is 1 for the second row A and B both are 0 for the first column in the same way we have 0 1 1 1 1 0 we are using 8 cross 1 mux so we have three select lines s2 s1 and s0 are the three select lines and we have three variables a b c we have three variables a b c so we have to assign all the three variables to the select lines let's say s2 is equal to c s1 is equal to a and s0 is equal to b so in this truth table I will replace this S2 by C, S1 is replaced by A and S0 is replaced by B. When all the three inputs C, A, B are equal to 0, the output is equal to 0 because C is 0 for this row, A and B both are 0 for this column. This means we are talking about this cell and this cell is having 0. So I0 is simply equal to 0. In the same way, I1 is also equal to 0 because this cell is also having 0. For I2, C0, A is 1, B is 0. C0, A is 1, B is 0 for this cell. 
and this cell is having 0 in the same way i3 is equal to 1 i4 is equal to 1 i5 is equal to 1 i6 is equal to 1 and i7 is equal to 0 now I will write down these values in 8 cross 1 max 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 s2 is equal to c s1 is equal to a and s0 is equal to b so this is how we have to implement function f using 8 cross 1 max we have used the truth table for 8 cross 1 max and we have used the Carnot map given in the problem now we will move to the solution of B part. We have to find out minimized SOP expression for F2. First I will find out minimized SOP form for function F and for this purpose I will make groups in this K map. I will first combine this one like this and let's call this group is P1. Then I will combine this one like this and let's call this group is P2. This one cannot be combined with other ones so this will remain single and I will call it P3 so the function f is simply equal to P1 or P2 or P3 from P1 we have C B complement from P2 we have C A complement and from P3 we have C complement A B so this is the value for the function f and now we will calculate f square f square is f and f and we already know x and x is equal to x so I can write f square equal to f so it is simply equal to c b complement or c a complement or c complement a b this is the answer I have used the laws of boolean algebra to obtain this result if we have f raised to power 3 then also it is equal to f if we have f raised to power 4 then also it is equal to f if we have f raised to power n then also it is equal to f this is what we have studied in laws of boolean algebra now we will move to the second problem the second problem is also taken from the same exam let's read the problem the look ahead carry adder is parallel carry adder where all sum digits are generated directly from the input digits this is true or false problem and uh, this problem is homework problem for you because you already know what is look ahead carry adder and what is parallel carry adder I have already explained these two topics and by using the concepts from those lectures you can easily choose the correct answer once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this lecture see you in the next one